Hi everyone, my name is Phil Gervasi, and in this very short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can optimize the audio settings in Zoom if you're using it for music lessons. Now, Zoom or any other video conferencing software is not going to work that great if you have an entire group of individuals playing at the same time, an ensemble. And that's because individual feeds are going to lag over the internet. But if you're doing one-on-one -on -one music lessons, or maybe a small group where individuals take turns, I'm going to show you a couple of settings that you can change that will make the audio much better for actual playing of uh, music, violin, singing, any of those kind of things, as opposed to just voice. Now the reason for that is because Zoom has some built-in mechanisms that optimize that audio stream for voice, like a regular work conference call or having a group chat with some friends, regular audio. It doesn't work as well for music, like uh, piano or singing, that sort of thing. So the first thing that you're going to do when you open up the Zoom client is click on the settings menu, which you get to from this little gear icon in the upper right here. So that pops up a new window, I'll drag that over, and the third option down is audio. So when you click on audio, you see that I have the option to select my speaker, microphone, and some other settings. You're probably already familiar with this. Before you make any changes to your settings, I want you to consider uh, investing in an external microphone, if you can. I'm using an Audio-Technica condenser mic, and it costs me something like $150, something like that. Uh, but ultimately, you want to avoid using that built-in microphone in your laptop or your PC or your, or your Mac. Um, if you're doing music lessons, uh, or if you're a student, you're going to see a dramatic difference. You're going to hear a dramatic difference between the audio from laptop mic and then uh, an external microphone. So uh, make sure that you select the correct microphone here in the dropdown. You can see here I have AT2020. The next thing that I do is make sure that automatically adjust volume is unchecked. I don't want Zoom to automatically adjust the volume during a music lesson. So for example, my daughter has a music, le both of my daughters have piano lessons in a little while, and I want the dynamic change when they get louder and softer uh, throughout the piece uh, for their music teacher, I want that to come through. And so I'm gonna keep that unchecked. The next thing that I'm going to uh, do is click on this little advanced button and make sure that this button is checked. You want to enable original sound. And what that means is the original sound of the microphone that's unfiltered and it's not compressed and modified, which is what Zoom does by default uh, in order to make it a better quality uh, web conference experience, like for work or, or in a conversation. And it works great for that, but not for playing piano, violin, for singing. So make sure that this box is checked. Now, once you check that box, you can start your new meeting, you can schedule your meeting, whatever you're going to do. Uh, and you'll see in the upper left, you have a new toggle switch to turn off, turn on original sound. Remember, you want original sound. That's the pure microphone sound. Now, there's a couple things here. On the bottom left, if you forget to turn it on or you need to turn it on or off, you also have the option to click on this little arrow and your audio settings where you have the same access to that same menu. So we'll close that out. Now I have my video turned off because my uh, uh, video editing software is using the camera right now, but you'll see that there might be a slight lag, uh, which is why uh, it, you know Zoom or any other video conferencing software is really not going to work if you're trying to play an entire or have an entire orchestra play simultaneously and, and rehearse in that manner. But for those one-on-one -on -one music lessons or a small group where you take turns, I think it works great so long as you make those changes and invest in a decent external microphone. Hope that helps. Thanks.